Hey guys, Jinlox here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. Morrowind, with me today is Jack. <laughs> you kind of see him off, off uh, camera here. There's the booty. There's the cat booty. All right, so last time we basically, we, I mean, we accomplished some stuff, but oh, they are so good. But not as much as I wanted. I sort—I couldn't figure out where the dude, the pottery dude, is smuggling his Dwemer artifacts. Although I stole a bunch of ebony from him. Um, I. Let's see. We talked to the dude. Uh, that we need to and got notes about the Nerevarine cult and the Ashlanders. And he told us to find his son and where his son is. He's like, oh, he's west. West of the center point. Great. That narrows down. Um, and then what else? I don't know. I guess we got alms for the poor, right? We got alms for the poor so we could, I don't even know how much. Probably about a hundred. Some people gave us 20, some gave us 10, a couple gave us five, and one person gave us 60. So it's like, all right, well, we should head back to Ebonheart and turn that in. Um, but let's load. Let's load. We'll talk to Caius. Our sugar is yours, friend. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you. All right. I need to sell you some uh no I, I don't know why I thought about you don't do you sell magic potions fortify magicka you do you sell one okay we'll purchase one Fair enough. Anyway. Right. <clears throat> the Dagoth Dagger. That's really interesting. Alright. Uh, also, yeah. How much of this... Raw Ebony... See, that's too much. Oh, we also have only one, um... One thing left, right? One of those, uh... Shrines. Just one shrine left. 828. 687. Sell some rat meat. Sell some rue brush. Uh, sell some scales, I guess. Scuttle. Racer plumes. Netch leather. Yes, this corpus meat hunk. What do you even do with that? I don't know, but I feel like we should put it on the dude. Special flora of Tamriel, yeah, I don't... Uh, 770. Works for me. Alright, so let's talk to Caius. Um, yes, you could move out of the way. Oh my god. Okay. Um, why do you get in the door? Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's rest up. In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to Lord Nerevar Indril, High 
Resdania. Long forgotten, forged anew. Three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. Lord Vorin Dagoth, Dagoth Ur, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend, bids you come and climb Red Mountain, beneath Red Mountain once again. Break your bonds, shed cursed skin, purge the Enwa from Morrowind. I assume that's a rhyme. shed cursed skin as in like i'm the reincarnation but yeah it would be really neat if there were actual multiple endings but i know there's not at least i'm pretty sure multiple endings as in like you could join dig other but yeah Long forgotten forge new. Three belied you, three betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. I don't... I don't know if we betrayed... Dagoth Ur. Or if Nerevar did. I don't know. Uh, okay. Rarely visited ancient underground complex at Mamiya, west of Red Mountain. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyway. I want to do, like, I have a bunch of these. I'm glad we found out where that one rescue oh, greetings. guide was. Maybe talk. Greetings, how do you do? May we talk? We... we Sure, we could talk. Why? Why not? Fortify willpower, huh? Oh, I mean that makes sense. Is I guess. something I can do for you? You could do whatever you want. Doesn't. I don't know what I meant by that, but not whatever you're thinking. Unless it is what you're thinking, in which case. Which case, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That makes no sense. All right. Let's give him the corpus meat. Delicious corpus meat. All right. Well, the flora of Tamriel. The yellow book. See, this... I, I don't know. There's got to be other places. I figured Vivek would have the, the things we wanted, but no. The books, right? We want the black glove. Although, to be fair, we, we haven't been... We've only been to the foreign quarter. There could be other bookkeepers somewhere that we don't know about. So... Okay, following your notes on the Ashlanders and the Nerevarian cult prepared for you by Hasur Zain Subani. The Ashlanders are the direct descendants of the Aldmeri peoples who followed the prophet Veloth into the lands we now call Morrowind. Ashlanders retain the modest nomadic life and simple ancestor worship of their forebears and despise the soft lives and decadent worships of the settled great house Dunmer cultures. Wastes are harsh and unforgiving and we are a hard people. But there is a beauty and honor in our simple lives, and the snobs of the temple and the great houses are fools to dismiss us as crude savages. You know... As we keep experiencing... You know, rampant hyperinflation, basically, and the economy gets worse and worse... These, the Ashlanders, if they are able to live off of the land and survive, there is value in that. Because for those of us that, you know, I, I get like a week's worth of groceries at a time from the grocery store. But if, if the economy collapses, if the supply chains collapse, if the stores go away, if all of a sudden there's chaos... I'm not going to be able to survive. I, you know, where, where do you get food from if all the grocery stores are closed down? Like, you know what I mean? The people 
And I guarantee the farmers don't have enough ammo to keep all the people away from their farms. And these idiots, they'd go to the farms and they'd light stuff on fire. They would destroy it because they're angry, you know? They're like, they wouldn't think they would just like destroy, which is kind of what you see happening in the inner cities. But there, there is, yeah, there is something to be said for leading a more simple life, you know, because a lot of this, I mean, I, I always, I'm, I'm going to finish this thought and then I'll, I'll get back to this. But if you haven't read the, uh, the Unabomber manifesto, you know, Ted Kaczynski's sort of document it's it was written in the 80s and it's prophetic right it's talking about what's going on today with the breakdown of culture and stuff and and the mindset of a lot of these people and you read it and it's just like whoa you know and I've recommended it to people and they're like, oh, you know, they read the first paragraph or two and there's like, Psh, whatever. Because he says that technology has been a disaster for the human race. And it's true that we live longer lives, better lives. Well, better is questionable, but definitely easier lives, right? We're healthier maybe but are we happier are we more fulfilled more satisfied i don't know i can't i can't really answer that i would almost say no i would almost say it would have been better or not necessarily better but maybe we're too far in the other direction right we're too soft we don't have enough hardship in our lives um but but anyway there there is value right with being able to survive when everything collapses. That's... Or, or to be able to survive without all, all of this, you know? Anyway. Uh, yeah, recommend, recommend the Unabomber Manifesto if you haven't read it. It's pretty on point. Uh, Ashlanders and Foreigners... Most Ashlanders wish all foreigners and their false gods could be driven from Morrowind. At the very least, Ashlander... Ashlanders wish the foreign devils would leave them in peace. Ashlanders think it's shameful to attack unarmed persons, but they will kill without hesitation an armed person who offends them or their clan laws. No Ashlander is fool enough to make war against the Empire. However, if such a war might be won, many Ashlanders might cheerfully give their lives to win such a war. So this is basically the same stuff. Ashlander courtesy. They may challenge a stranger who enters a yurt without invitation. Customs differ with different tribes, but leave when requested, and you're may, you may be forgiven. Be care particularly careful about Ashkans, the tribal chiefs, and wise women, seers, and counselors. Some are welcoming, some are hostile. Be courteous. Leave if requested. If offended, they may attack. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of skip this stuff because I've read it already. Ashlander worship is the same. <sighs> See, this is interesting that they're they worship Nerevar and hate Dagoth Ur. Which is yeah. Okay. Right, and the this thing about the camp moves with the herds, they talked something about the Guar, right? The Guar herds. There was a, a problem with them. Alright, so, and we still don't know what this key was for. Not Nedalus's key, but the crude bronze key, maybe. Um, 
Oh, House Lalu, yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, more like Tong, Clothier. We haven't been to the Razor Hole or the Eight Plates. Well, either way. Where... Where was that Fighter's Guild that I would want to turn in? Oh, wait, who? This dude? I'm a sleeper, one of a thousand. Stigather calls you. He is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, when he wakes, we shall rise. All shall greet him as flesh or as dust. Oh, they don't- he doesn't like that. Uh, Day of Reckoning is a hand. Take what you can and leave our place for when Lord Digoth comes. This will be no place for you. This dude again. Okay, well. I didn't even talk to him, he just talked to me again. I assume this dude's gonna attack me at some point. We'll find out. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, thanks, dude. Tell me about your good skooma good. pipe. Spoon. Oh yeah, the good skooma pipe and a spoon. All right, let's uh, save, I guess. Are you here to discuss your orders, or is there something else you want? What training does he offer? Unarmored. Oh, he offers speech. Huh. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Uh, well. Not about the sleepers, right? Or Shilaku camp. Okay. Orders. Thanks for your report, but keep Zane Subani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshalaku camp to speak with Sul Matul and Nabani Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me, so you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later. It should explain everything. Plot is getting thick. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesied, prophesied Nerevarine? At first, I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I'm sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. It's very weird, right? Like, what if all of a sudden... You know, you're... You know, you're the head of some government agency and they send you somebody and it's like, hey, this dude's possibly the second coming of Jesus. Like, help him do whatever. And you're like, well, and it's, I've said it before, I think it's like, are you or are you not? I mean, I know you are, but, but it's like, if you, if you fulfill the prophecies and you're a fraud, are you still a fraud? You fulfilled the prophecies, you know? So, anyway, uh, let's see. So, Zane Subani says Sulmatul and Nibani Mesa at Urshalaku camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. As, he as heads of the Nerevarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses, and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. 
What essential supplies do I need? <clears throat> Excuse me. Before you go to Urshalaku camp, see Samutius, Vunius, and Cruelius Pontanian at Fort Moonmoth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you, courtesy of the Emperor. In particular, you want the cure potions. I hear the blight is very bad up north. And use the divine intervention scroll if you find your over your head. It will get you safe to an imperial cult shrine where you can heal, refit, and try again. Yeah, that's pretty important, actually. Alright, so let's scroll, let's go through these. Um, yep, okay, Blades, Blades Apprentice, those were the good old days, eh? Believe it or not, I was Apprentice once too, but that was a long time ago. Blades Trainers, Kamanatong, Corpus. I don't have it yet, but I know we're going to get it, or at least, I mean, the way he's talking, I'm pretty sure we are. And the, the fact they keep church, you know, not churching it up, but talking about it, yeah. Okay, yep. Disturbing dreams, essential supplies. So we have to go to Fort Moonmoth, which is right here. Uh, Fort Moonmoth. Ardheart. Guild Guide. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Play servant, little advice. How do you judge a job's difficulty? Consider three things. Location, opposition, and payoff. Long walks into the wilderness are usually tougher than local or town tasks. Tough opponents make tough jobs. Daedra, vampires, rogue, Telvanni. You'll learn which ones to look out for. And finally, if the reward offered is large, the dangers will be large, too. That is good advice. Okay. Nerevarine. The Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecy. I'm still skeptical, but it's hard to believe this is all just coincidence. Yeah, he's basically like, okay, so these guys are in charge of the cult. You might be the Nerevarine. Go to them. Right? I mean, that's like... People are... The cult, they're prophesying, prophesying you're the next coming of Jesus, so go to them and find out if you're the next coming. The package you gave me described the prophecy's conditions, and you seem to match them. An orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents. Standard vague prophecy stuff. I could see how it would be nice to have a Nerevarine in our pocket, just in case. But the Emperor and his advisor seem to think this prophecy is genuine, whatever a genuine prophecy is, and we're going to take it seriously, aren't we, Loxley? I mean, yes. As I said, go to Urshalaku camp and speak with Sul Matul and Nabani Mesa. Tell them your story. Have them test you against the prophecies. They should be able to judge where you, whether you might be the Nerevarine. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Hmm. So you're probably going to go there and they're going to give you tasks or something. Oh, or, or it's like, well, these are the prophecies. Fulfill them and then come back or, or something. Okay, soul stuff, soul sickness, temple, uh, thieves guild, Urshalaku camp. Zane Subani says that Urshalaku camp lies close to the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village of Margan, on the northern coast of Ardenfell. The fastest, smartest way to reach Margan is to take a silt strider from Belmora to Aldrun, and from Aldrun to Margan. In Margan, look for a scout named Nulono Tedas at Margan Outpost, she'll be able to tell you how to reach Urshalaku camp. All right, well, first, what I think what I want to do first is go to Nisus and do that coal cave thing, the last of the, um, the last of the graces, right, for the temple. Woof, but... 
He gave me a decoded package, right? Whoa. Decoded package. Um. Right, but also I want to go to, I guess, Vivek and turn in that quest, the Fighter's Guild one. We'll we'll see how that goes. He's probably going to be like, oh, he fled, huh? You, you sort of failed, but... All right, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and then maybe we'll have to refuse the other one. We'll see what happens. Um, maybe Shoring Hardheart is a bad dude, but maybe that dude that was giving me the tasks, the shirtless orc guy, the smith, maybe he's okay? What's-his-name seemed to think he was okay, the former guildmaster, so I don't know. Spymaster Caius Casades, Knight Errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, Director of Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfell District, Eastern Provinces. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wishes concerning Loxley, an individual of no rank or consequence. Loxley has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority and sent to you with this missive. Loxley is to be entered as a novice in the Imperial Order of the Blades and is to serve under your absolute authority as you see, shall see fit, except insofar as His Ma Majesty's particular wishes are concerned. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. A local superstition holds that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, <laughs> shall unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and shall reestablish the ancient laws and uh, customs of the Dark Elven Nations. This orphan and outcast is called in legend the Nerevarine. How did they know? Was this prophecy as well? and is supposed to be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer General and First Counselor, Lord Indril Nerevar. Loxley has the appearance of meeting the conditions of this local superstition. Therefore, it is His Majesty's desire that Loxley shall, insofar as is possible, satisfy the conditions of this ancient prophecy and shall become the Nerevarine. Though this prophecy is indeed only an ancient local superstition, his Majesty has taken counsel on this matter with his most expert informants and confidants. And His Majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant, either in its entirety or in its several parts, and he earnestly demands you treat this matter with the utmost seriousness. Yeah. Yeah, that's like... You're like, what the shit is this? <laughs> you know, the spy master, like, you read this and you're like... Okay, but there's magic in the world, and gods, and the gods talk to people, so it's like, okay. Certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document, and further materials will be forthcoming by courier at the earliest occasion. It will, of course, be necessary that you acquaint yourself better with the details of this ancient superstition from your local sources. Since this matter intimately concerns Loxley, it is expected you will employ him to gather information on this subject. His Majesty has taken a great personal interest in the legends and, and prophecies of the Nerevarine, and eagerly waits awaits eagerly awaits your reports. There's typos, but I don't even know how many I don't know how many words is in all this text. You know, I have the honor to be, sir, your most humble and obedient servant, servant Glabrio Belenius, personal secretary to the Emperor. Okay. And I like that they actually give you this stuff. It's like, hey, here you go. You know? Alright, well. Hmm. Okay, so we have the Vivek and the Alms. I guess we'll just hoof it. Or maybe... Let's just take the guild guide. You know, I mean... Oh, another one? Okay. 
Okay. Latest rumors. Lalu and Telvani have been fighting over Ordinarian for years. Alright, thanks, dude. So, yeah, there's... Oh, my gosh. Lots of sleepers, I guess. Okay. Is there something I can do for you? Get out of my face. How we doing? We're doing good. Why you used to be back there, but why are you, you need something? Why are you here now? Hmm. Huh. Variable resist corpus disease. Okay, well that's not the greatest. But I mean it's not terrible. Might be worth getting a bow, you know? We don't want to get it. But I know we're gonna. All right, I need to travel to Vivek. How can I help you? I I feel like I'm wasting money, but um, you know, it's cool. All right, so I talked to Edwina. Maybe some people here in Mage's Guild can give you some clues. Is this like, is this a bullshit thing? Do I need them to like me more or, or what? Hmm. I, you know, I mean, there's nothing down there though, unless I screwed up or something. My advice is try and I'm ignore him. Please go ahead. I mean, yes, Outlander. What do you want? Technically, we well, the okay, disappearance of the I'm dwarves. Listening. Even we we don't even know about that, right? What brings you here? Do you want something from me? I might. All right, all right, shirtless dude. My save files are always gonna have. My anger is reserved. Okay. Told you to get rid of him. What's the situation? One of the magistrates. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, Tongue Toad. Good work, Loxley. Just as long as Tongue Toad keeps his mouth shut. Here's your gold. Ah, uh, I see. So him fleeing is acceptable. Fair enough. Any more orders? I got a bounty on a Khajiit. Name is Dro Sakar. Got a bounty on this Khajiit outlaw, Dro Sakar, hiding here in Vivek, in St. Olm's, I think. I've seen that name. St. Olm's. Was that underneath? What's his deal? I don't want to just kill him. I don't trust, I don't trust these guys. Okay, well. All right, so we got more orders. We turn that in. Do we advance? Can we advance at all? I'm Loxley the Swordsman. All right. What about this guy? Is he going to give me a... Well met. Orders or advancement? I want orders. I think you... Until you better earn a better rank. So maybe we can get more... Maybe Aldrun. I think Aldrun, they were like, oh, I don't give orders to anyone less than swordsmen. I think that was... Okay, well. Before we kill that Khajiit, we want to figure out what is going on with that guy. So, 
We've done this. What else did we have to... I mean, they say he's an outlaw. Who really knows? Right? Um... Yeah, the Halalu Hortator. Uh, okay, Telvani at Ordinirin. The Imperial Cult, yep. All of these. Mage's Guild, Mystery of the Dwarves. Meet Sul Matul. Sleepers awake. Purge the Enwa. Filthy Enwa. So what's this about? I love that. All right, so let's look at the yellow book again. Uh, yellow book. Maybe we could talk to these people. Okay. Uh, Elmas Island, East Vivek. We could maybe try finding her. Dram Barrow. No fixed residence. Okay. I don't know why the whole thing shook there. Crassius Curio. We could go back and talk to him again. Uh, Yingling Half Troll. St. Olms. Okay. Bal Ur. Hmm. All right, so what do we want? We want, um... Okay, well, let's go to... What's his face? Crassius Curio, and then... And this dude is in St. Holmes. <sighs> I'm stuck. I mean, I, I could also just go into St. Holmes and just shank the dude. Ooh. That was weird. I got stuck on the thing, and then I had to back up, and I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's... I mean, as much as I would love to jump off the side, I... Mm, it's a pyramid, kind of, you know, so I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to hit anything on the way down, which probably would. Like, it's very... I got stuck on the top. It's very strange. Maybe my acrobatics is too high, so I'm, like, sticking to the ceilings. Don't know. All right. I think this is Saint... No, this is Redrin? Yeah. There's Halalu. Let's go to Halalu, then. We'll go to Halalu first, right? Oh, maybe we should go to Ebonheart first. Turn in the... The alms. I mean, I could just... You know, it's it's funny too because I could just pay them. They're like, "Oh, go get alms for the poor. Go to this place, get alms for the poor." And then I could just be like, "Okay, here's a hundred. Give me the next quest." Um. Didn't we talk to Yingling Half Troll though? I don't. I I think we did. I'm almost certain we did, but I just don't. General goods. Curio Manor. Is there a bookstore in here? Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Is that is this the guy? No. Is there something I can do for you? I mean I wouldn't. Oh, there you go. There's the yellow book. Oh, you gotta look in the yellow book. Hey. Uncle Crassius, how are you? I do not have any business for you right now. How's the new play? 
It's gonna be fabulous, my little sweet roll. With the theater troupe. It's coming together nicely, sweet bits. Lives outside Vivek. Okay, what about Yingling Half Troll? Drambero. Lives somewhere here in Vivek. I, I feel like we've seen him, but. Anyway. Maybe when you fill out a bit. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, what may I do for you? Is there something you need? May I help? Not used to being treated as the piece of meat that I am. I don't, I don't know. My ah, it's terrible. I need to work on my my humor. You know what I'm saying? All right, corner club, temple. Adreno Rethi. Yeah, we were doing something for her. All right, let's go to... Wait. Man, I bet this game would be... It might be too small, actually. Or it might look too small with... Uh, with the far-seeing... Oh, ooh, I almost fell there. With the far seeing patch. Ah, crap. Is this, uh. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Yeah, that's not a shock. That it hurt us? Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, I can't get out, huh? I'm stuck. Stuck in the water. That's a little disappointing. There we go. Oh, hey, buddy. Cool. Disease to let you have contracted ataxia. What the crap is that? Drain strength and agility. Do I have cure disease? Cure common disease? I guess so. It worked. All right, good. Makes me happy. Restorations at what? 25. Fair enough. All right, so we want to go south. I see the smokestacks. All right. Let's turn in the quest. See what else happens. What say? I don't know. Hawk moth. No, uh, no bookstores, right? Guess we're not an official town. It's a very small town. It doesn't seem like the kind that would have a bookstore, you know what I'm saying? It's just too small for that stuff. I'm listening. What say? All right. What say? I mean, my characters. He's not mute, but he only has a couple of grunts. And I wonder how much of that, uh, the prophecy of, like, driving the foreigners from Morrowind, how much of that is, like, Dagoth Ur? What did I do to deserve this honor? Uh, right, downstairs. We have athletic skill has increased. Uh, I've reached our goal. He likes it too. 
All right, very good luck, Sid. Congratulations. Perhaps you'll find this useful in your work. When you're ready for next Almerner mission, speak to me again. Okay. Gem feeder Dadala's knack has been added. Charm 0 to 24 points for 30 seconds on touch. I guess... I assume that improves their disposition, maybe? For our coming harvest end pageant, we need a red shirt with a black vest. Please visit, visit clothiers and ask if they would donate such a shirt and vest to the cult. Combination of shirt and vest is what they call a common shirt. When you have the red shirt with the black vest, return and deliver them to me. I'm told that a shirt and vest together is what they call here a common shirt. There are many styles of common shirt, but we must have a red shirt with a black vest to symbolize the Drake's fire that warms us in long cold winter nights. Since the red shirt and black vest are western style, Dunmer clothiers may not have them. You may have better luck in Vivek's Foreign Quarter, or Balmora, Caldera, or Pelagiad. Interesting. Glass not alms for the poor anymore. It's a different advancement, uh... Right. Not yet measure up to our high standards for personal attributes and skills. Oh, interesting. So you've done enough missions, but not enough... Well, hello, Mr. Manicat. But you don't have the... Like, skill requirements. That's interesting. Working on it, though. All right. Okay, shirt and vest. The Vivek foreign quarter, maybe. It's interesting that they, they specifically say, hey, it's, you know, it's a Western style. You probably won't find it in, um, in a regular place. You need, like, a bigger, a bigger place. That's one ugly outfit. No, it isn't. I mean, well, maybe, maybe it is. All right, so should we go to Vivek? I still do want to talk to the dude in top of the St. Olm's Canton. Oh, gosh. Well. That's good. Disease Kaguti. Okay, thank you for not contracting anything. Another one? I'm trying to let my stamina recover a bit. Also diseased. I hear a scrib. Oh. Or maybe it was a mud crab. Also diseased. So with all these diseased creatures. Alright. Uh, St. Delin. St. Olm's is the one over here. To the right. I think I hear another mud crab. Oh, maybe that's it. I just want to... You know. I want to talk to the dude first. I'm pretty sure I have, but I don't think... I don't think he's had any work for us or anything. I don't think he cares. Maybe that's the whole thing. Like, Crassius Curio... He actually might have work. Everyone else... Whatever. All right. How do I get... Well, let's do, um... That'll work. 
It's not the fastest way, certainly, but, um, you know. Well, and right, he's at the top, I think, so let's just do that. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Okay. Oh, yeah, still have the ebony. We got to, um, we want to sell that at some point. All these scrolls, which are nice. Okay. We'll just wait for it to, to go away. Oh. Right. Yeah, strange. You have to, like, back up in order to unlock your, the ability to go forward. Yingling Manor. St. Olm's Haunted Manor. That is strange. What is it, Mr. Kitty? You want to come up here? Okay. Oh, there he is. There's my Manny. I don't think this... I don't think that dude's Yingling Half Troll. I don't think he is. No. No, I don't think so, Manny Cat. You're very cute, though. Do you want to, uh, you want to cuddle a little bit? Is that what is? Is that what the deal is? Oh. You are my baby. Yep. Okay. See, I could tell, I could tell the cuddling was afoot. Yep. All right. See, so go back to go forward. Nope. You seem worthy of my knowledge. Oh, that's him in there. My man, Ika, you're so good. Okay, what would you like to know? Do you have any business for me? Okay, so the answer is no. No, it is no. It not, not right, is it? Nope. Hmm. You're so good. Do not fear. Do not fear, my cat. Uh, the new play. Four of us. Dren. Mm hmm. Troubles for House Lalu? Gotta hand it to the demon charmers. They surprised us. Telvani got these little groups squatting down all over the island. We've done little to stop them. They're going to be tough to root out. It's going to cost money and lives, but we better make the investment now before it's too late. See, they think it's Telvani. They think it's like a house war thing, but I bet it's um the sixth house, right? Dagoth. That's part of Dagoth's plan. The Landa Omani. Who's the Landa Omani? Oh, it's outside Vivek. Oh, you don't need it. Oh, my bubba. You're my bubba. What about the, uh, Dram... Oh, Drosakar. What's this? He looked suspicious. Okay. None of the, uh... You're so nice, my cat. You're so nice. You're so good. Yeah, you're a good critter. Yeah. Oh, my bubba. Alright, so this guy is not giving us any business. That's understandable. Understandable. Today is your lucky day, so let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, me. Alright, well. Do you want something from me? In that case, we need to find. Hmm. Hmm. Look at how cute you are, Manny. We need to go to the foreign quarter. That could be a ways, but... Uh... Are you getting down? Okay, you don't have to. Okay, you're gonna lay down? Oh, that's good, too. You're so good. You're my good kitty. You're my good kitty. Yeah. 
Oh, hang on. Before, before I do that, we'll run. Oh. Okay, why? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so strange. Like, the movement, and all of a sudden I was moving backwards, and I don't know why. I don't know why, Manny. I don't know why, but there it was. There I was, knee-deep in grenade pins. Right. Yes. All right, we're gonna head towards the foreign quarter. And I don't know where we'd find a clothier in there. Maybe the top, maybe not. Let's hope we get there before we fall, because that could be bad. Come on. I'm watching it, but once it starts to fade, it's too late. All right, good. I don't feel bad anymore. Uh, yeah. Upper waste works, sure. Talk to all these peeps. Talk to you. Barter. Nope, you don't have what we're looking for. It's funny too, because I remember seeing them or seeing it and I'm like, yeah. Citizen. Hey, not you. Speak quickly, Outlander, thing, or thing go is, away. they might not even have it here. You know what I mean? Um, you might need like an actual clothier. So. Oh, there we go. All right, a little disappointing. The uh, Yingling half troll. Yeah, probably didn't. May I mean, we could have tried bribing him. I don't think we did. I don't think the disposition was good. So that's a problem. Smith. Smith. Wait. There's two Smiths. Okay. And I know there's clothiers. Okay, let's take a look at this. We got Enchanter, Black Shulk, Fletcher, Alchemist. Okay, so there's probably even lower. Like the canal works. There weren't just like no, no one's up here selling stuff. Oh, it's time to stop, though. It's time to stop, my little cat. Trader. Bookseller. Clothier. Ooh, look at all these extravagant... What's this about? What do you want? I need a shirt and a vest. I'm sorry, I have nothing in that style, but may I try the High Elf Falanamo. He has a shop in Caldera and specializes in traditional Western styles, but he's not known as a generous man. I doubt he'll donate anything unless you have exceptional gifts of persuasion. Hmm... Yeah, I was thinking I could just purchase one, but but that's what they want, right? They want uh, Caldera. Man, that's been a while. But yeah, there you go. You've given us the clue. Um. All right, where 
Where to now? I guess we're in the foreign quarter. Um, hmm. We'll just save here. You don't have to get up, Mr. Cat. You don't have to. Save. All right. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. As always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different. Let me hear them. I do try and read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them as well. Um, What's your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's this video I saw on Dark Souls 2. I think the YouTube channel was Limit Break or Limit Breaker or something like that. And it was basically about uh, why Dark Souls 2 has the best new game plus. And uh, it was really interesting. I knew I had known some of the things, and I actually wanted to do a, uh, a playthrough of Dark Souls 2's New Game Plus for the channel, because I've never done it. I've played through the normal game, but never a New Game Plus playthrough, and I thought it would be interesting. But, um... Well, now I'm going to prioritize other games, you know, in my last five months of Steam so, uh, so, uh, but the video was neat. The video was neat. So that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys just as good, if not better, hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care. <laughs>